Don't let your guard down. <laughs> Hello. Greetings. Can't talk. Herc doesn't like loafers.
Come on over. Exciting, isn't it? A fae living in the village like an ordinary person? Some excitement for a change. <laughs> New to the area? I don't recall the last time I met someone who was unfamiliar with the Alpha. There are two groups. There used to be one, but that was many years ago. The Losulfa are cool, slightly aloof. The Dokulfa, however, are very friendly, but their charm masks a mischievous nature. <laughs> the mission? I don't know much about it. I will say this. It's a waste of good lads, that Order of Mitharu. Not many available suitors in Gorhart, if you haven't noticed. Nice talking to you. <laughs> Greetings. I've got supplies if you need them. Stick around. Welcome.
Commendation from Ordur, eh? That'll get you your first assignment. But more than that demands soldiers work. Don't get any big ideas. Heroic deeds are long past, and the war's far away. But there's honest soldiers' work to be done. Hirelings earn good pay for standing guard, dealing with thieves, patrolling roads. In fact, there is a patrol setting out shortly, if you're interested. The ancient group has retained us to discover why traders have been vanishing from a road in Lorca Rain. Travel to Dyden Hill and meet a fellow hireling named Will Rendig. He is likely at the healers. Then, report to Warden's Bridge. You and a crew of other hirelings will scour the area and ensure the roads are safe. Understood? Good then. Find Hireling Rendig in Dyden Hill. Check at the healers first, then join the patrol in Lorca Rain, mustering on the road near Warden's Bridge. As rife with brigands and brownies as ever. With our best call to the front, our numbers here are... thin. I can make you a hireling. The work is plentiful and the pay is good. However, you are not truly of our order until you earn the rank of Pledge Shield. I am 
but a simple soldier grown old. First they made me Castellan of this keep, then that wasn't enough. So they named me Ancient of War, Steward of the Order. Three Warsworn keeps guard the summer Phalans, Shieldring here, Helmgard in Arathel, and Ironfast into Tyr, to each a Castellan, and in Pluricon, Amaldor's Fere Kura oversees our part in the war. It has been centuries since the Warsworn have crossed into Pluricon, and in fact, that crossing has always resulted in tragedy for us. But we are mercenaries, and we are paid to fight there, so we must. Even as our coffers fill, our ranks stretch thin. This war, these times, have tested our mettle to the limit. Still, we have not wavered in our creed. A mercenary sells a sword without honor. The war sworn sell honor armed for battle. Though he is only a hireling, he is war sworn material, and we look after our own. He has cares of a personal nature, which presently detain him. Good. Off you go. Yes? Stop gawking. There are grander things than children keep, but we're proud to call it home. Mind you, it's more than vaulted ceilings. It's about history and work, about Time Delfric, Ancient of War, and Castellan of this place. Oh, are you? I see. If you mean you want to join, you should speak to Tyne Delfric. If all you want is coin, go to the contract board. Pay for finished jobs comes from me. Yes. Take any job you like from the board itself. When a contract's done, return to me. You enter by the Great Hall, where Tyne Delfric holds talk with visitors. Forge and commissary are to the right as you enter the keep. Common quarters are straight ahead, with beds for pledge shield and above. Castellan's quarters are left. Don't go in there.
Castellan of this keep and Ancient of War. That means he stands above the other Castellans and leads them, more or less. Delfric's a wise man. Prefers one well-timed sword thrust to twenty wild swings. Why, fighters, that's what we are. Fighters for hire. Best you'll find. Were you thinking to join? Tyne Delfrix the Castellan. Speak to him. Good then. Sworn to war?
Hello there. Step right up and allow yourself the pleasure of my company. I am the great Oleander Sinclair, alchemist virtuoso. Today only I am offering inhabit... inhabitant... the people of Yelvan a special... What am I offering? Last, the potion's wearing off. A potion. His potion, I mean. Oleander Sinclair. See, I'm not really him. He being a dead guy I found in a mine nearby. Landed on, really. But he was already dead. Maybe I took his coin and drank one of his potions. That's when things got strange. I could make potions. Tonics, cordials, restoratives. Turns out I really like alchemy. But the potions' effects are fading. Will you help me make another? I don't recall the potion's name. No surprise, I can't even remember my own name. That's the price you pay for being erroni... erroni... for being a liar. Those war-sworn curs likely have one in their keep. I'm not sure. They won't let me in. On account of my being a liar. You could make the potion using the proper reagents, but that would require work. We've got to hurry, though, because I'm getting dumber by the moment. Scour the keep and you'll find something useful. You wouldn't believe what those warsworn are hoarding in there. You know, a person who makes potions from things like fungal spores and droppings. A person like me. A virtue... a virtue... what? Perhaps you should use words people actually understand. Someone here is looking mighty foolish right now. It's me. I'm the one looking foolish. Surely you've heard of him. The most famous travelling potion salesman what ever lived. The guy I landed on killed. Knew him, did you? I mean, I'm him. That's me. Oleander. Beautiful woman. Ravishing. In fact, I made clear my intentions to woo her. She made clear her intentions to break my nose. I think there are two ingredients that go to the potion. The potion that makes you better at making potions. Ember eyes and sky blossom, reagents you can find hereabouts. With them, I can make the potion I need. They're seeds that smolder with the heat of a sun-baked stone. Amazing! I have no idea how I know that. Yes, they are very lovely. Flowers they are. Pretty flowers. Listen, I just want the potion. Wait, what do I want with the potion? It's called that because the white pattern on its blue petals look like clouds in the sky on a summer day. Yeah, that sounds right. Bet it grows around here somewhere. In the forest, I'd wager gold on it. Probably in the ground. Try the ground. The worst of the worst, that one. Honorable, proven, courageous. Who could ever be proud of such qualities? They don't like me. Because they're brutes, I'd wager. Or because I stole from their treasure hoard. That's probably the reason. 
Castellantine Delfric wants to lock me up. Me, Oleander Sinclair. Did I mention that he's famous? Th that I'm famous? I'm Oleander Sinclair. You like that head of yours? Well, if you do, I'd advise you stay here in the north. You could end up like those in Canarok. Poor souls are spider snacks. In their prime, they were silk farmers. But now the villagers are ruined. You can go and see for yourself. I, I wouldn't advise it, though. Yes, Yolven. Quite appealing. You should visit. Where is Yolven again? Not my first choice of campsites, but better than the alternatives. I'll gladly take war-sworn swine over giant spiders. Wouldn't anyone? Please hurry. Welcome. 